Local school that was built in the 60s is in need of a facelift, and school officials are determined to bring a modern look for students. That's right, and KRX5 reporter Camilla Barco found out where your tax dollars for School District 51 may be going. That's right, you guys. Freedom Monument High School has already gone through renovations that were funded by the Bond and Mill Levy dollars. However, a project that is still in its preliminary stages, it could add more improvements to the school. At Fruita Monument High School, there's quite a bit of confusion on where the main entrance is. Many folks believe the front of the school is over on 6 and 50, and it's actually not. Todd McClaskey, principal at Fruita Monument, says he and the school district are aiming to change the outlook for the Wildcats. To put a security vestibule where that gate is now. Part of an $8 million project, the school has proposed to create a 21st century modern entryway. It's also going to open up the main corridor of the school and provide a line of sight all the way down to the gymnasium. A pathway that is a more direct route rather than having people wander around the school. We have a sprawling campus with over 50 exterior entries. Um, this eliminates many of those. It starts off with the main building where students would be dropped off and offer a space where different departments are all in one location. Counselors, athletic director, principal. The building would lead to a corridor that spreads to the school gymnasium. It's a more open environment where students can use their technology and um, I think it'll be a very inviting space. However, the main entrance would also have a roundabout with the school's mascot in the middle that would take a portion of the current parking lot. So we need to bring them around to the other side of the school. If approved, Bon and Mill levy dollars will be used to fund this project, but it is up to the school board members to take a vote. You have to be very conscious of how the dollars are spent, and there are a lot of needs throughout the district, and I think a lot of their um, decision will be based around long-range planning. While it is still in the works, McClaskey says this project will benefit the local community. It's a growing community, a vibrant community, and a community that deserves a school that they can really be proud of. And this will go a long ways in helping to make that happen. If the project is approved, construction is anticipated to start as early as next April.